Hey guys, welcome to Wrench to Drive. This is an update and an introduction to the WL Toys 12428 Crawler Project. Uh, in case you haven't seen any of the videos, this is me attempting to make a dirt cheap crawler out of a WL Toys 12428 Rock Racer. As you might expect, you're going to need some extra parts and pieces if you really want to make a rock crawler out of this car. Now, the big thing. The big reason that I wanted to do this is that one of the major expenses is the axles. If you want to build a crawler, a set of axles and gears and whatnot is big money. You know, you're basically going to be into it for a hundred bucks just for that stuff. So what I figured was, what are the odds that I can make an axle housing and 3D print it and use the vast majority of the WL Toys 12428 parts and make an actual working crawler? Now in another update I told you that one of the things I discovered was trying to do DIY suspension links was a bit of a lost cause or a bit of a waste of effort. So I bought some suspension links. In my opinion chassis rails are not the best place to go with something that's uh, weaker or DIY or whatever because it's just a big pain in the butt. So I bought some chassis rails. So, so far basically suspension links, chassis rails, and these, uh, this set of nice shock absorbers is the money that's involved in this that is not directly out of the WL Toys. Well, that and 3D printing and some screws and whatnot. Here we have it. And I'll throw in a little montage of, of footage of this bad boy. And so far, I have to say that it's kind of been on par with what my expectations were. I was really hoping that it would be possible to build a, a really good rock crawler using the WL Toys 12428 as a base. I think that might have been optimistic at this point guys and the big reason is I thought that these shocks would uh, would really work nicely. I thought that was going to be um, you know kind of a, a deal maker because suspension is super important in a rock crawler. Now the reason I'm a little pessimistic right now guys is that even these very nice plush uh, axial style uh, aluminum shocks are a little too stiff guys so the result is that I'm not getting the articulation that you really want out of a crawler it's okay don't get me wrong but it's definitely not premium so I guess that's it's probably what a guy should expect not what I was hoping for so that's my my moment of pessimism now the upside is that so far it's actually proven to be pretty durable uh, this is just uh, an end came off. I hadn't screwed it on properly would be my guess. It must have been loose Because uh, otherwise I can't see how it would have come off that easy. I didn't lose anything. So that's no big deal uh, I had a little problem with the steering that might show up in the video might not uh, Basically it was pulling to one side quite a bit I'm not I'm not sure why that was because I've looked at it and I don't see anything actually wrong with it So I'm gonna have to poke around a little bit and see if I can figure out what's going on there it uh, definitely seemed like something was wrong. It had a it had a major. Oh, did I lose? No, nope, didn't lose a screw. No, nope, there's a. It it had a feel of something's wrong, but I don't know. It doesn't doesn't look like it. My best guess is that maybe the battery was low because it it did do it, it did do what I thought was a low voltage cutout way before I thought a low voltage cutout should happen. So I just turned it back on, and I'm kind of guessing that maybe it was an actual low voltage cutout, and perhaps my my servo wasn't responding the way the way it should be. Yeah, I mean that's that's obviously not a huge big deal. Overall, it uh, you know it performed okay. I'd say the top speed is a little on the high side with the stock WL Toys gearing, which is what I'm running in it right now. This is just the stock pinion gear and the stock spur gear. Uh, as you might expect, it's geared a little bit too high for a crawler. So I have smaller pinions. So one of the things I'll do is I'll, I'll pop a smaller pinion on there do some running and, and test that out and I expect that that'll be a lot more crawler like basically between the suspension and the gearing being a little high that's going to be a, a bit of a downside to this unit right out of the box now any of you guys that know crawlers know that you can get a center gearbox for about 20 bucks uh, and I ordered one because I figured well at some point I'm sure I'll stick it in here to try it out and just see what the difference is like and the one that I ordered is supposed to be all metal gears, bearings, you know, pretty decent. Comes with a pinion, 20 bucks. How far around can you go? I mean, where I live, a pinion's five, six bucks. So, you know, I can't imagine that gearbox is horrible for that money unless, you know, the gears are just barely metal, whatever. So, 
the bottom line is that, that the, as it sits right now, this works okay. And that's about the best I can say is it's okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. I'm running these uh, these modified uh, drive shafts. They're just uh, plastic sections added to 12428 drive shafts. One is the stock one, the front one here. The other one is an, a is a, an aftermarket one that's a little bit different. And uh, they both held up okay to basic running, so that's a, that's a halfway decent sign. I don't expect that they'll be super durable. So I'll cut to the video here and give you a taste of it running. And uh, the, I've got another video that kind of summarizes the project, so you can check that out if you're interested. And uh, yeah, overall, so far so good. It actually it works okay. I got to do some tweaking to the back suspension. Got to make some proper shock mounts. I just mounted the shocks to the roll cage because I wanted to try them out. The conclusion I've come to is that uh, the front WL toy shocks, or sorry, the back WL toy shocks on the front of this crawler actually don't work as bad as I had initially thought. They're a little stiff, but the articulation with these with these much nicer shocks isn't that much better, to be honest with you. So I think I think at the end of the day, you can use the WL Toys rear shocks without any trouble, and you should be able to get up and running, and it won't be you know truly horrible. The WL Toys front shocks, now that's a different story. They are just way too stiff. I can't really see how you're going to be able to use them and, and have it really work out well. You might be able to do some sort of cantilevered setup in the back, similar to the to the way the suspension works in WL Toys, and, and you know, kind of get it to work. But I don't know, guys. I'm pessimistic, so I, I don't know if you're going to see that sort of mod from me. I think it's, I think honestly, I'm going to run these these nice shocks, and uh, for good or bad, whatever whatever performance I get out of them, that's that's probably what I'll I'll go with. Uh, if you can find a set of of crawler shocks, they're a little softer. I suspect those that, that would be the ticket because this thing does not weigh very much, guys. It's actually really light for a crawler, so uh, you know that's part of the problem. Check out the uh, check out the parts on Thingiverse if that's not how you got to this video. If it is, thanks for checking it out. If you're interested, you want to try building a crawler. Uh, this thing, you know, it basically works. I'd say your biggest obstacle is screws. You're gonna need a bunch of screws. It's always annoying to spend money on hardware, but there's absolutely no way to put this thing together just using all the stock screws. You're going to need some extras. Uh, a set of screws off of Banggood can be had for 10 15 bucks. So I'll, uh, I'll uh, post some information on what to use. And then, uh, oh, by the way, these tires are, are not the WL Toys tires, but they're very slightly bigger. They actually weigh a lot more. Uh, the truck actually performs, I would say, better with the stock WL Toys tires, but they're, they're on the small side if you're, for, for a crawler. And I would say the weight of the wheels and tires is a factor that you're going to want to take into account when you're when you're building this project. If you find some really nice lightweight plastic wheels with some lightweight tires, uh, that's going to be beneficial, given that the gearing is not ideal. It's you know the gearing is a little too high, uh, and that means that the more mass you have at the wheels, uh, it's even a bigger problem, guys. So with the stock gearing, if you run some uh, some really lightweight plastic wheels and tires, uh, you, you should be all right. The heavier they get, again, the less that's going to work. You're probably going to want to run a center uh, transmission to lower the gearing overall significantly. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the project. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how much interest there is. If there's not much interest, you pr won't, probably won't see a whole lot of, of major updates. It'll be only stuff that I'm interested in. And if there's lots of interest, then... Uh, yeah, I'll post some updates and tweak some parts and whatnot, and away we go. Thanks for checking in. Drive to wrench or wrench to drive.